Momo Gonzalez and Fede Chingoto will play together in 2024. Momo will play a game on the left and joins Chingoto Super Saiyan who comes from winning the Master Final with Paquito Navarro. But why will Momo and Fede Chingoto play together? What are their strengths and weaknesses as a couple? Hello top players, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new 4 set. Let's analyze first what happened in 2023 to understand why Momo and Chingoto will play in 2024. And let's start with Chingoto because the Raton of Olavarria started the season together with Javi Garrido until 3 tournaments later the phone rang. And on the other side of the phone was Don Francisco Navarro Compact. Just a few months before that call, Paquito Navarro was the one who break up the couple Chingoto Tello after 8 years. And in that moment, Paquito was proposing Fede to play together. So if you told someone at the beginning of 2022 season that this would happen, he never believed it. But Paquito's experiment on the right side didn't work and he needed to go back to the left side and Chingoto agreed. Together, the couple quickly became one of the most loved by the fans. In a season where Coelho and Tapia, Stupan Dineno and Lebron Galan were at a phenomenal level, Paquito and Chingoto were the best human couple. And at the same time, they will become one of the most consistent couples reaching five finals. But the title was still missing for them. And there were always the same problem, Coelho and Tapia. And from my point of view, Paquito and Chingoto had a handicap compared to other couples. It was harder for them to win points. As Paquito himself confessed in Marca, they both need a more deceptive partner by their side. And that has been one of the main reasons for their separation. But what about Momo, because he has more changes than his new partner? He started the season again with Alex Reed, but they would not last long. Tejo would call Alex and would provoke that Momo decided to join with Janguas. Until one tournament and a victory included, Sanjo called Momo and decided to join forces. These two talented players managed to sign as a couple from the beginning and reach several finals until the bad times began. Several tournaments with bad results, losing in the first rounds and with the feeling of not finding solutions. They tried everything until Premier Padel Paris that was the end of the project. And that's when Momo made a brave decision to switch to the right side of the court and play with Javi Garrido. He had been thinking about to play on that position for a long time and that was the perfect opportunity to try it. Momo's adaptation to the right, taking into account that he has practically no time to train, has gone very well. But the player from Antequera confessed that depending on the match, he couldn't find the solutions on the right that he was able to find on the left. And at the end, because of these feelings, Momo decided to go back to the left. So for that reason and the others, now we have Momo and Chingoto playing together for the next season, but why those two players? First of all, because both players want it and have wanted it for a long time. But they have been also influenced by the possible decision of Lebron and Galanz to break up. Many rumors indicated that Galan called Fede to, in the case of a separation from Lebron, team up with the Raton of Olavarria. And Paquito, before this, had already taken the decision to separate from Fede and join Sanjo Gutierrez. But that opportunity to Fede was open until the final decision to continue together or separate from Lebron and Galan. Finally, it didn't happen, so Fede called Momo and made this super couple. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see an interview of Momo and Chingoto together. So what are the main strengths of this new couple? First, and I think it's super important, the personality. Because Momo and Chingoto are two of the most loved players by the fans because of their good vibes. They are always smiling, so I'm pretty sure that they won't have any kind of problems between each other. But is the combination of those two kind of players the best combination to compete? Because sometimes you need a positive person like Momo and Chingoto and on the other side a more spicy player like Sanjo or Paquito. So I have doubts here, so what do you think? Another strength of this couple without a doubt is the defense. Fede is one of the best defenders of the tour alongside with Dineno and Lebron in my opinion. His physical qualities have made him focus more on defense throughout his career. But his defense is based on his tactical knowledge of paddle. Let's think that Fede this year has won a title with Jan was playing on the left side of the court and last year he reached the final on the master final with Martin Dineno playing on the left side of the court. A player who plays so well in any position is a gifted player in this sport. 
And on the other hand, Momo is one of the most skilled players of all. He can even do this crazy thing to defend a smash. In fact, Sanjo confessed this about Momo and how he can improve. Muy bueno. Con una potencia física impresionante, con un físico privilegiado. Un jugadorazo. Como consejo mío, como consejo de veterano, si yo lo entrenase, entrenase lo putearía en los entrenamientos, pero al límite. Para que saque la garra. Al límite. Putealo, putealo, que la pase mal, que entrene con 40 grados, que entrene con la bola rota, que... Putealo, putealo, poner todos los ejercicios en desventaja, que pierda todos los ejercicios. Todos. Que aprenda a sufrir ahí mentalmente, que aprenda a ser fuerte. Si ambos son especialistas en defensa, las dudas aparecen cuando necesitamos hablar sobre el ataque. Antes vimos cómo Paquito fell que él y Fede necesitaban un partner con una mayor facilidad para atacar. Así que en este caso, no tengo la sensación de que Fede va a beneficiar de la cambia de Paquito y Momo. En realidad, Momo confesó esto sobre su smash. El peor, yo te diría, el remate, creo yo. Creo que es una faceta que tengo que mejorar aún. Pero la buena noticia sobre esto es que el room of improvement for Momo in this mass is brutal. Y por sure it will be one of the priorities for Momo to train in the preseason. So we can expect to see a super offensive Momo this year. Another very important aspect is the motivation of both players. Fede's level in 2023 has been the best of all his career. Having reached five finals, it looked like he was going to stay without winning a title one more season. Because in his career, he reached 14 finals and lost all of them. Until the last tournament of the season, the last dance with Paquito Navarro. They reached the final in the master final against Lebron and Galan, having previously eliminated Coelho Tapia and Tejo and Alex Riff. And they managed to win. So Fede's confidence must be through the roof right now. And if we think about Momo, probably people don't know all the ambition that he has inside. La gente dentro del padre incluso creo que no, no sabe la ambición que tengo, pero yo desde luego sé por dentro, porque yo interiormente sé toda la, la ganas que tengo, toda la ambición que tengo, y bueno, creo que tengo que empezar a aprender a expresarla, que la, a que la gente vea esa ambición. Pero yo creo que me noto por dentro, sé que soy un jugador muy, muy ambicioso, porque ya te digo que yo no voy a parar hasta intentar ser número uno. On the other hand, slow courts will sweep better for Momo and Chingoto, especially for being able to do loves with so less danger. And remember that out of the four first tournaments, three will be slow courts. One more doubt that I have about this couple is how Momo will adapt again to the left side. In just six months, he will go from playing on that side to playing on the right and now back again. It should not cost him so much unless with a pre-season in between, but it is still a curious situation. Who is gonna be the leader of this couple? Taking into account the personality of each one on the court, I think it's not necessary to have a permanent leader in the couple. I imagine a leadership like Coelho and Tapia, each one being leader at different times. And here the coach is key. And we have the confirmation that Gabi Reca will be their coach. So what will be the results of Momo and Chingoto playing together for the next season? What worries me most about this couple is their offensive side. They are gonna be the typical defensive couple that on slow courts they are gonna be invincibles. But will they be able to go one step further? If we think about 2023, Yes, especially because we have Federico Chingoto in Super Saiyan mood. The level that he has shown last season was incredible. So if I have to bet on this couple, I'm gonna do it big. In the first five tournaments of the season, they will reach two finals and win one of them. The initial motivation, the lack of knowledge of the rivals about how they will play are aspects that play in favor of Momo and Chingoto. And of course, the support of the people. They will always be one of the favorites of the crowd and that is a bonus. Do you like the new couple of Momo and Chingoto? Leave your opinion in the comments. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one.